The Tale of Three Trees, written by Angela Elwell Hunt, with illustrations by Tim Jonk. And this is an American folk tale about three trees whose wishes come true in a surprising way. The Tale of Three Trees. Once upon a mountain top, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. Two, three. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I want to be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountain top at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful, it is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shiny axe, the first tree fell. Fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shiny axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shiny axe, the third tree fell. The first tree enjoyed, rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop. But the busy woodcutter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled while, when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, the one strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple sailing boat, fishing boat. Too small and too weak, to sail an ocean or even a river, he was taken to a little lake. Every day he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter 
cut her into strong beams and left her in the lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was to stay on the mountain top and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees re nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly, the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveller and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveller fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Sun suddenly, a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hand to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It made the first tree beautiful. It made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. <laughs>